What's going on Babylonians? It's me Songs of Rays and I'm back with some more Miasma Chronicles guides to be able to bring to you. Now today we're actually going to be discussing probably the best shotgun that exists in this game and you're going to look at me and you're probably going to tell me what the hell are you thinking because it is a level 1 shotgun and that does mean that as soon as you get into the later game you, you, the damage output is not going to be that spectacular. But I'll be honest with you the reason why this is so good is just purely based on utility and how good it is being able to dish out that kind of damage. But before we do go any further, if you are enjoying this type of content, if you're enjoying the guides, if you're looking for more tips and tricks when it comes to playing Miasma, then make sure to drop a like and a subscribe on the channel. It really does help the channel out, and it also lets you know where you'll be able to find us, ready for more Miasma content once it does actually drop. But with all that said and done, what are we waiting for? Let's get right into it. So as always, we'd like to be able to discuss where you can find this weapon first, and then we'll discuss what makes it so good and how to be able to kit it up afterwards. So the where we're on this one is actually not going to be behind a locked door. In actual fact, it's going to be behind a side quest. Now the side quest in the question here is called Protection Racket, and what it does is you let get this from Papi O'Brien, and it's basically his family is being bled dry. He's been uh, kind of like bribed behind a special thiever, and this uh, basically this uh, this name thiever called Matt. You need to be able to go over there. You need to be able to teach him a lesson as the uh, the side quest does actually state. Now this does recommend that you do, you are between level 11 and level 13 to be able to do this quest and I'd highly recommend that you do go quite towards the higher end of this because as we know with some of the balancing when it comes to some of the fights in this game this is actually going to be one of the relatively difficult ones to be able to do just purely based on sheer numbers that you're going to be fighting but also on top of that because of the, the various types of enemies that you will actually be going up against. Now, some of these that you can take down with stealth, you definitely can do a better job than I'm able to show off in the background. Uh, but basically, you will be in for a long ass fight when it comes to this one. So make sure you do have plenty of healing and make sure you do look into your tactics and where you'll be able to position your squad when it comes to this. Now, of course, everyone's combat scenarios are going to play out differently compared to my own, so I'm not actually going to give you too many tips on this one. I would say just recommend. I would recommend that you do utilize as much cover as physically possible when it comes to this, because they're all wielding guns, and they will actually be able to snipe you to be able to do some nice critical hits against yourself. Uh, so you definitely need to pay attention to that. The Witch Doctor's ability when it comes to Miasma is actually going to be probably the best thing to be able to keep yourselves alive. I would highly recommend being able to grab that skill and utilize it as much as possible, and that means that you're going to need to reduce the killer what usage on that but I would also recommend that you do grab the dynamo uh, assault rifle as well so I do recommend that you go into chronicle 2 before you then come back and do this side quest to make sure you are of a relevant level but also to be able to get have that sustain when it comes to your energy so you are able to constantly keep your team alive Either way, once you've completed this fight, you'll find the chest out in the open right next to this broken down car, and opening this up will give you the Wide Boys Shotgun, which is a level 1 shotgun with a damage of 40, critical damage of 80, a 7 range, and 2 ammos when it comes to it. Now the special on this is pretty much the same when it comes to most of the shotguns in this case, which adds extra critical chance per target that's within the AoE or your blast radius when you do take the shot. So that means that it can hit multiple targets all at the same time, unlike an assault rifle which is a literally just purely single target damage. So you have that kind of like versatility when it comes to uh, the amount of damage you're able to put out. While it does save 40 points, if you were able to increase your critical damage or be able to put enough targets in between yourself uh, and obviously where you're firing all this, uh, all this buckshot from, then you, you know you can reliably get to that 80 damage when it comes to critical damage but you're not primarily using it for that uh, the main reason is because you are looking to be able to use this as a spread gun and the reason why that's so useful is it actually works really nicely when it comes to some of your skills it's because of skill usage which is why the wide boy is actually probably the king of all shotguns when it comes to this game and you shouldn't necessarily just purely look at that damage stat to be able to get an idea as to how useful this is. The reason why is because its next special ability is weapon spread is increased by 40%. Now in most games when you use a shotgun you don't really want to be able to do this because you're all about being able to land your pellets onto a certain target to be able to deal that damage output consistently but Miasma works differently to that because as long as you've got an, a target, an enemy that's within the, the cone to be be able to see that he is able to land you still have to worry about the hit shot hit percentage you still have to worry about the hit chance and everything like that but as long as an enemy is within that cone there is a good chance they're probably going to get hit by this unless they're behind a large form of cover or something like that something that's going to be blocking your shot now I'm going to give you an idea when it comes to this infographic to show you the difference between being able to use this shotgun as standard and then I'm also going to put on my additional recommendation to show you what it's like when you actually increase this range. The reason why you want to be able to do this is you can see on the screen right now this is the standard range 
overall a pretty nice range because compared to like a normal shotgun it's very narrow uh, you do need to be able to position yourself so quite quite well to be able to maximize the amount of usage out of a shotgun but when it comes to the wide boy it's relatively easy to be able to put a, a bunch of targets within that cone and on top of that because obviously your critical damage or multiplier is constantly being increased every single time you put a target in there uh, because you're increasing how many sh how many spaces how many uh, kind of like squares uh, the target is actually affected you you increase the amount of chance that you're able to get like it so this it allows you to be able to, as long as you've got targets within that cone, you're relatively consistent when it comes to critical hits. Now, if we then put on a scope that increases the range when it comes to this weapon, you can see the drastic difference that this goes to. And it's not as simple as just purely going, oh, well, you know, two extra squares. You're not going to get the majority of like, big use out of that when it comes to a shotgun. It's because it's not like a flat linear kind of... Uh, like the triangle that comes straight out from you because you're extending that range you're also extending the range that's on the sides as well which means that it can actually be a little bit misleading as to how effective putting a range increasing scope onto this kind of gun can actually be. Now, the reason why you want to do this is because we do plan on being able to like still utilize cover. We still want to be able to uh, use our abilities. We want to hit as many targets as possible within this cone. So if anything, if you're going to take anything from this video, I highly recommend being able to put on a scope to be able to increase the range as much as physically possible when it comes to using this shotgun. So okay, we've discussed well, you know, we've just discussed the mod combinations. We've discussed how we want to be able to increase this range. We've seen how wide of a like, projectile spread this can have, how many targets this can all hit. So what's the main payoff when it comes to this? Well, it's not actually going to be damage output. It's actually going to be amazing at being able to strip armor off of uh, some targets, and it's going to be amazing when it comes to endgame. The reason why is because the more you start going into the story, the more armor bars you're actually going to start seeing when it comes to targets, which means that things like acids, things like armor breaker are going to be absolutely key and absolutely crucial to be able to survive and uh, to be able to even complete a firefight. This is even more so when you come up against like hunters and collectors and everything like that towards the end. Uh, you know, we, we've started to see enemies go up to in, in excess of like five armor bars, uh, and, but considering every single target that comes in has a minimum of two, you're starting to reduce your damage output so much that it's actually not feasible to be able to go into a big firefight when it comes to those, especially seeing as they can absolutely mince through all of your armor bars as, uh, with their weaponry that they do bring in. This makes the fight so much easier though when you use the shotgun because you can tie it in with your abilities to be able to strip off armor off multiple targets. Now you can do this with a standard shotgun, so don't feel like you have to have the wide boy, but the wide boy does such a good job. It does it heads and shoulders above everything else that it is literally the best weapon to be able to use. And it's just probably more key to be able to use it on Elvis as a backup gun so that you're able to utilize the majority of your skills. Now Elvis does come with uh, acid shots and he also comes with armor piercer and he also allows you to be able to strip off three bars if you do go fully into the bottom right hand tree to be able to maximize the amount of armor piercing like, ability that it can actually do, taking off the majority of their armor. Now acid is especially deadly when combined with the wide boy because that means that you're applying acid which is a damage over time which is perfect for machines especially seeing as they are immune to fire so you're able to do damage you're able to strip off armor regardless of where they're going when it comes to the as long as you can get them within that initial cone when you use this ability and they will all be pushing towards you in the first instance of a fight anyway it should be relatively simple to be able to start lining up those shots and obviously you can use armor breaker instead you can definitely feel free I mean this shotgun comes with two shots at default so if you had both of your skills available feel free to be able to use uh, both of those to be able to actually do that and you still can use this as a damage dealer like I said you know because you're on the constantly increasing the amount of damage that you're able to output with this uh, or because of how many targets you can actually put inside that cone it does mean that you are able to relatively easily be able to get those crit shots and if you are manage to get like a kill with that 80 damage it does mean that you can potentially do another shot follow-up to be able to finish off everything else that's in that cone now, just because I've said this is absolutely perfect for Elvis does not mean it cannot be used on other characters. Jade, for example, is actually still a decent choice because she has access to Acid Shot, as well as skills to be able to increase her crit chance, meaning that it's more effective or more reliant to be able to go onto that crit damage, and instead you could then decide to go for crit damage as well. Uh, so you could probably bump this up to uh, 100 damage, and that is 100 damage across every single target that is in that cone, which is a massive amount of DPS just for being able to use a certain ability. The only one that I would say that 
that I would not recommend using this shotgun on is going to be Diggs. And the reason why is Diggs doesn't have any abilities to be able to help deal with armor, which is absolutely essential when it comes to later points in this game, uh, because the amount of targets that you will be going up against, you need ways to be able to start stripping off that armor to be able to do your reliable damage and to be able to start whittling down the crowd much faster. Overall, the Wide Boy is an amazing weapon when it comes to this game, and just because it is level 1 does not mean that you should turn your nose up at this. It is especially effective the more you come up against armoured opponents and ways to be able to start stripping those down rather than relying on a single target damage, and then due to the long cooldowns of the both abilities, may meaning that you have to survive for 4 to 6 turns to be able to then be able to strip off some more armour from that. But either way, I absolutely love the Wide Boy. I haven't found anything that's come close to being able to take it away as my Elvis's secondary. And absolutely perfect home to be able to use some of my skills. But that pretty much wraps it up on this guide. That tells you how you're able to find it, how you're able to gear it up effectively, and what it is absolutely perfect for when it comes to a combat situation. Let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think of the Wide Boy? Have you already picked this up? What is your favourite ability when it comes to using it with this gun? And who have you actually got it onto when it comes to one of your party? Do you have it on Elvis like I do, or do you have it on another member? Let me all know everything like that down in the comment section below. Massive thank you for making your way to the end of the video. Massive thank you to the Babylonian family, as always, for their continued support. It really does help the channel out. If you did enjoy this guide and you want to see more from us, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. But with all of that said and done, that just leaves me to say, keep yourself safe, keep yourselves well, and I'll see you all on the next video.